Now, Passover begins tomorrow night with most people heading to their families' homes for the festive Seder meal. But for better or for worse, not everyone is in a position to go home for the holidays. Joining me now is lone soldier in the IDF Kfir Brigade, Corporal Ben Bleich. Bleich, I'm so sorry. Corporal, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. All right, so first of all, you know, I, I want to know a little bit more about what it is that you do in the IDF and what inspired you to join as a lone soldier. Um, all right, I'm a, I'm a light machine gunner uh, in a unit that pretty much we specialize in uh, counterterrorism and urban warfare. Uh, operate mostly in the West Bank, uh, sometimes other places as well. Um, and yeah, I was inspired to make Alian join the army. Just as a kid, seeing a lot of what goes on over here uh, in terms of like terrorist attacks and things like that. And uh, felt like if I'm in a position where I'm able-bodied and uh, <clears throat> able to do that, then why would I not uh, come here and join the army? So it was like that Zionist mission of, of defending Israel in a sense, or, yep. you know, that, all right. Yeah, I wanted to protect Israel, you know, keep everyone here safe. And uh, yeah, I thought that was the best way to do it. Now, I, I understand that you're in the commander's course actively yeah. at the moment. You know, what, what drove you to kind of climb up the ladder? Is it, is it that extension of that same thing? You know, what, what's, what's there? Um, yeah, kind of an extension of that same thing as well as uh, once I moved here, um, I was just accepted so warmly just both by the, my friends in the army and just people here in general. And uh, I felt like there's no better way to give back other than to keep advancing in a place where I believe I make a significant difference. And then, you know, is, is there something particularly difficult uh, about being a lone soldier? I mean, I, I understand that uh, your sister and her family also live in Israel. Uh, you know, so are, are you going to spend the holidays with her, for example? You know, what's... Um, no, I'm going to be, uh, I guess, deployed. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the proper way to say that would be, really. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, Doing my job on busy. yeah the night of the night of Pesach and all throughout Pesach, uh, God willing. Oh wow! Now, like, and you know, how how is your sister reacting? Did she also do the army? Like, how, how does your family react to your choice uh, to make Aliyah and to join the army? Um, they've been uh, very supportive throughout the process. I am the first one in my family to join the army. Not the first one to make Aliyah. My sister did uh, move to Israel before me, but. Uh, They've all just been overall very supportive and uh, there for me with whatever it is that I need. All right, now, before we continue, I actually want to bring your dad on the line who is here with us, uh, Michael Bleich, Ben's father, joining us from the United States. Michael, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, now, first off, you know, do you have anything that you want to say to Ben? Uh, and, and how long has it been since you've actually seen each other in person, especially given COVID and everything? Okay, so what I'd like to say to Ben is that I'm very, very proud of him. Uh, many levels, um, you know, I myself did a couple of weeks training course in the IDF. So, but I never actually joined. I'm very proud of him for joining and I'm very proud of him for helping protect all the people. Um, I, you know, in terms of coming to visit him, thank God the Israeli government made an exception for parents of lone soldiers during coronavirus. And so, I came a few times. I've been there like four times this past year. Wow. And the last time I saw Ben was, uh, I think I was there in December, right? Yeah. Wow. Yep. Well, that's, I mean, that's nice. They, they kind of are a bit understanding than it sounds like. Yeah, and definitely. Letting you, and letting you For see sure. people. Uh, you know, Michael, are, how, are you, uh, how, how are you feeling, especially over the holidays? Are you, are you guys going to do like a Zoom Seder or something? You know, how are your preparations for Passover coming? Well, you know, this, we don't use Zoom during the Seder, but um, I speak to Ben almost every day on WhatsApp. We do video calls and we try to stay close. He, he fills me in on everything that's going on. Um, and I, I feel like I'm a part of it. So uh, that's important. And, and you know, it, so how do you feel when you're, when you're so far away uh, from, from Ben and, of course, your daughter as well? Well, you know, thank God I have, uh, fam you know, children and grandchildren here, children and grandchildren there. I try to spend as much time as I can with them. And we miss him. We miss him. Uh, but we understand the sacrifice that he's making. I understand he might not be able to even go home over the holidays because of the current situation. And I'm very proud that my son is one of the people helping to protect everybody. 
Ben, so it sounds like you're talking to your dad all the time. You're keeping him abreast of what's going on. Uh, you know, how how do you plan to 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 plan to celebrate at all? You know, during the I know you said you're going to be deployed, but do you have any any sort of a uh, holiday plans going on? Um, well, going to try to be deployed in a happy way, I guess. Uh, <laughs> just do my job with like, a smile. So, how, you know, how do you celebrate a holiday while you're out in the field? In a sense, do you is you know do you take a moment to kind of? Yeah, we try to try to you know take a moment when we're less busy, not doing things, and uh, just kind of uh, try to celebrate to the best of our ability. It's not always uh, that easy, but uh, we make it work. Do you feel? I know you mentioned that you uh, felt welcomed by by the members of your unit and the, the rest of, of uh, the army, but you know, how do you feel like walking around the streets? Like, do you feel Israeli? Have you acclimated, you know? Uh, very much so. I feel very Israeli. My friends uh, like to point that out when I try to throw in some English when I'm talking to them. They're like, no, no, the Israeli, don't, don't, don't even try you. that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I acclimated very well, thank God. And uh, every day we learn more and more about the culture, about the country, about the people. I love it. So you're gonna stay. You're gonna stay in Israel forever. That's it. That's the plan. But uh... Michael, what about you? You know, coming back to this conversation, are you are you gonna join anytime soon? Or are you gonna make Aliyah and follow in uh, in your son and daughter's footsteps? Well, I'd love to. Uh, um, at least I feel now that I'm represented there by them, and my parents had actually made Aliyah also. Oh wow. Um, Oh, I was thinking about it. I have family here that once we can get everybody, but of course we're waiting for Mashiach to bring everybody. <laughs> All right, Michael, thank you so much for joining us again. And Ben, uh, a bigger thank you as well. And happy Pesach. Uh, My Pesach pleasure. Zinecha. Thank you so much for joining My us. My pleasure. Thank you.